Indianapolis Colts bunch offset. Going to give you doing a little free little breakdown for you guys here on this playbook, specifically focusing on a little five play mini scheme out of the bunch offset formation. If you could only run five plays, these are the five plays I would run, and we're going to be breaking them down in this video. So what we're going to be doing for our audibles is we're going to have the play curl flat, smash return, verts half back under, and PA read, and we're going to be coming out in the play double post every single time. Now, what I want to do first and foremost here is we're going to showcase why double post is the best man-beating play pretty much in the game. So all you're going to do to set this play up is you're just going to drag your slot receiver, and this is going to create a high-low read between the drags underneath and the post and the C route over the top. Now, first read is always going to be this tight end route, followed by, of course, the drags. And then as you see here, the post route is typically going to get wide open against a variety of different coverages. You also have this backside C route that's normally a pretty good man-beating route as well. And then by dragging the slot receiver, it's only one hot route. You're able to snap the ball quickly. But we know that drags, especially with the new rack animations, are one of the best man-beating routes every single year. Now, what makes this such a special setup is the fact that it doesn't really you don't really need a deep streak to clear out this post against cover three. As you see, you can still kind of throw this in that little pocket against the cover three coverage, and it creates a really good high-low read over the middle of the field for the yellow zones and the deep defenders. So you see here, they're going to play a little bit more underneath. This time was cover four, and you see that that post is going to be open. Now, one of the big tips with running double posts that you need to understand is you want to be possession catching that post if you don't have a clear out streak. So you'll see here, this time we're going to possession catch that and just make sure that we secure that, that catch in the middle of the field. Now, if the defenders over the middle of the field back up, that's where you're going to want to make sure you're looking to your tight end uh, flat route, your drag, your running back in route, as those routes are really effective for those different types of coverages. Now, the next play that we're going to be going over is a right side flood concept with the play curl flat. And this is going to be really good if they're starting to play hard flats on the bunch side. So what we're going to do to set this play up is we're going to put the outside bunch receiver on a corner out. We're going to stem him all the way down. We're going to streak our tight end, block our running back for additional protection, and we're going to drag this backside drag route. Our first read is obviously the seam streak, but then we're really looking for the short corner route that we stemmed all the way down against the cover four coverage. And we'll show you that one more time because we got instant a gapped. The practice mode sheds are unbelievably incredible. But you'll see here, this short corner route, super good this year at being able to attack that right side of the field. And there's not really a great zone coverage that's going to defend that. Because if they do decide to run, like, let's say, a cover two coverage, for example, by using this play curl flat, we have this nice deep corner route to the R1 receiver. And what you're going to see is that this corner route can clear kind of that basic cloud flat type of defense as you see, and get us a really nice gain against that. However, if they were to play cover three or cover four coverage on that side of the field, then we're just going to be able to consistently hit this corner route to the outside bunch receiver. You'll see he's going to go, and this is going to be a very consistent route. And this allows us to put a high-low strain on the right side of the field. Now, the next play that we're going to be going over in this little uh, mini guide here is going to be smash return. And the way we're going to set this play up this year is we are going to take the solo wide receiver and we're going to put him on a fade route. If you want to, you could put him on a curl route and stem him all the way up and basically turn this into essentially a streak. That's perfectly fine as well. And the setup for the play is we're going to block that running back for some additional protection. We're going to drag the tight in, and we're going to post the slot receiver. Now, I also like to oftentimes stem the slot receiver down one tick just so that he runs his route a little quicker across the middle of the field. And what you're going to see is that that post, that tight end, that whip route, all of those routes are designed to be able to attack man-to-man -man coverage. We'll show you that one more time because we didn't get a great example here. So you see on this left side, you got that tight end drag, you got that crosser, but really the money route is this like backwards zig from the smash return. This route is really consistent at being able to attack man-to-man -man coverage pretty much every single year. This has been one of the best man beating routes in the game. So the next play or the next uh, the coverage we're going to show you this play against 
is going to be like a standard cover three or cover four. And we're just essentially going to create a high-low read. Now, what a lot of people will do in this game is they will basically take this left side and they're really going to focus on defending the C route. So because they're so focused on defending the C route here, you're going to see that this tight end drag can get underneath any type of cloud or curl flat zone. So we can just take what the defense gives us and just check it down to that tight end for a couple of easy yards. This is going to then force our opponent to shade their coverage underneath and play hard flats. And if they start to play hard flats, this is where this play becomes super effective because what you're going to see is that this post route is going to get into a nice area of the field and we're going to be able to throw this on the deep left side of the field. So we have curl flat that's attacking the right side. We have double post that's kind of attacking the middle field. And then we have smash return that is able to do a really good job of attacking kind of that left side of the field. And then if they do want to run kind of a double flat coverage where they're using kind of a cover two cloud with hard flats, then what you're going to see here is that it's going to leave an isolation on the user in the middle of the field. And so what I like to do against something like this is typically go to the play verticals. And all we're going to do with this play is just put the running back on a streak. And what you're going to see here is we're able to attack really the middle of the field on both sides. And we're going to have this nice little triangle read between the crosser, the running back, and the tight end. So it's essentially wherever the user goes. If the user goes to the right, we're going to throw to the left. If the user goes to the left, we're going to throw to the right. If we do get man coverage, even though he got kind of bumped crazily here, this crossing route is really effective. So if we do get man coverage and we just happen to be in this play, this is really more of a zone beater. But this crossing route is super effective at being pretty good against man coverage. He's going to get a nice step on him and be able to attack the man coverage defender. Now, the last play is more of a freestyle play. And it's because one of the best ways to pick up the double mug, double A gap, or really any blitz in Madden every single year is to use play action blocking. And so what I like to do with this play PA read is essentially a combo that is really effective regardless of what year you're playing. You're just going to put the solo receiver on a post. You can stem him up one or just leave him stock. You're going to have this tight end on this kind of unique uh, wheel route. What I like to do is actually take him and put him on a drag route. And then we're going to put this corner out here and stem him all the way down. So you see this is kind of what the play looks like. It's really good for man. It's also really good for cover two. If they run this cover two coverage, you're going to see that this post is going to just simply split the middle of the field and give you a chance at a one play touchdown against cover two. All in all, the bunch offense is super effective every single year for a very good reasons, and this year is no different. If you master these plays that we're breaking down in this video and you start to learn how to kind of put in some of your own plays, or if you just check out our entire Colts offensive ebook on our school community, you're going to start winning more games. I really like Colts this year. I think it just brings a lot to the table. There's a lot of stuff we can do, and the solo side post really does a good job of consistently attacking both man and zone coverages. You just got to make sure that Mahomes can actually make the throw. Let me show this to you one more time. And then you're going to see that this post, inside pass lead, really nice route for man coverage. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys are going to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, make sure you join our school community. That's where you're going to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks throughout the year for both Madden and for college football. For just 10 bucks, you can become a member today by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.